Welcome to A Game From A Box. This is Sergio I am, and on this episode of Bat, we're taking a look at what's in our back-to-school bag, featuring some of our most recommended gear. The bag is the Elements Backpack by Alpaca, one of our new favorite brands here. It's blacked out and made with durable weather-resistant materials such as the 500 Black Kodra and the tough ballistic nylon bottom panel. Then we have curvy shoulder straps with a magnetic sternum strap and very comfortable and fancy looking space cell phone padding on the inside. Now to stay hydrated, on the sides we have two water bottle pockets that lay flat but stretch out enough to fit larger bottles such as this 40 ounce insulated thermo flask. It has a straw lid, which makes it, at least for me, easier to drink throughout the day, but it also comes with a chug lid too. And as a heads up, I don't think bottles bigger than this size will fit. Over on the front, we have their hidden front pocket with this wide flap to protect it from rain. In here, I have this tiny but useful five-in-one keychain pen by ATEC. It's a, well, you know, pen, has a ruler along the side. Inside, we've got a touchscreen stylus. Under that, a small Phillips and flathead screwdriver. Also in here, I have Google's new Pixel 6a running the latest Android 13. It's got a beautiful 6.1 inch OLED display. It's water resistant with an IP67 rating. Over on the back, we've got a dual camera bar that when paired with their software produces incredible photos. Then inside, it's got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, but more important, Google's own Tensor chipset, which performs really well for heavy multitasking as well as gaming. Now in class, it comes in handy with things like their recorder app that you can use to record and transcribe lectures, then store and organize them in Keep, and use that camera to take photos and select anything on them, or use Google Lens to do some research. But it's also wrapped in OtterBox's commuter case that can easily survive most drops and bumps while also giving you a solid grip. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by our friends over at Best Buy. The best place to gear up for back to school. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Uh, they have everything you need, be it from the new Pixel 6a and Pixel Buds Pro, as well as the Kindle Paperwhite we featured here. Best Buy also has great deals on top brands with their latest phones, laptops, earbuds, and more, so you can get the best gear without breaking the bank. So whether you're a student or a parent, Best Buy is the place to get everything you need to kick off the school year right. Click the link down in the description below to check out their dedicated back to school hub featuring some great deals, exclusive offers, and even inspiration on how to create a dedicated studying space. So check them out because supporting them helps support us. Moving on to the main compartment, on both sides we have straps that you can use in all sorts of ways. The most basic being for something like this ATEC pencil. Much more useful for class than a pen, it uses 0.9 millimeter lead, and has the same tools as the others, but in this full size. Above that, we have a zippered mesh pocket where I carry that lead. Then I've got Google's new but pricey Pixel Buds Pro. They fit well, they've got an all day battery life. They sound great with punchy bass and clear highs, making them great for both music and podcasts. On top of that, they've got some handy features such as touch and hold to access Google Assistant and scary effective active noise cancellation so you can tune out the world around you and focus. I use these all day. They're one of the best wireless earbuds we've tested and they're wrapped in this really nice black leather case by Nomad. Also in here, to fidget with, I've got these Specs 33mm balls, magnetic balls. Not much to say here, they're oddly satisfying to use and no, it's not weird because there's three of them. Next, as someone with a bad back, uh, take my word for it, ditch the physical textbooks and go digital with a Kindle Paperwhite. It's super lightweight, waterproof with an IPX8 rating, easy on the eyes with features such as a glare-free display with adaptive backlighting and more. You can either buy books off the official store or if you already have the file, you can convert it and add it yourself. So recently I've become a big believer in umbrellas. I really dig the idea of keeping all this stuff, homework, as well as myself dry. For that, I've gone with the Totes Titan. These are the ones I'd suggest because they have better build quality, a durable handle, it doesn't pop open when it's strapped closed, and it's in a nice portable size. Now, research shows that study breaks work and what better way to take one than with the Switch. Yeah, at this point, it's pretty much in all my kits. 
The OLED model is still king and my go-to for exclusives as well as indie games. It's in subcases awesome, unicorn, beetle, pro, forma case, which sounds like it came from a random name generator. On the front, it has five very secure game slots. The front cover protects the thumbsticks and face buttons, but not the shoulder and triggers. It pops right off. And in hand, it expands off the side with nice grips on the back, which makes it very ergonomic. With it on, we still have access to all our other buttons and ports, including the USB-C charging port, because yes, this is a dock compatible case. Big fan of this protective case. It's one of the best we've tested in a while, and I love that it keeps it safe while also keeping that thin switch form factor. Moving on, at the bottom, I have Alpaca's tech kit packed with everything I need to keep all the batteries in here topped off. First up, I've upgraded our Anchor PowerCore Fusion to the 10,000 milliamp model. It's got two of their Power IQ 3.0 ports for USB-A and USB-C. And on the other side, we have the pop-out prongs to charge itself along with any connected devices. It's easily our pick for the most versatile power bank out there. Over on this side, I've got a six foot charging cable and the very useful multi-charging cable for just about any device. In this compartment, I've got this handy tiny Ugreen micro SD and SD card reader with USB-A and USB-C connections followed by the always useful SanDisk thumb drive with a 512 gig capacity. And like the Ugreen adapter, it's USB-A and USB-C compatible, which if formatted correctly, works on both computers and phones. Love this pouch, just the right size for what I need and it's easy to move from bag to bag. Finally, we have the padded and floating 16 inch laptop compartment. In it, making a comeback is the Pixelbook Go. If you don't know by now, I'm a big advocate for Chromebooks, especially for students, because most are budget friendly. This one being on the premium side, uh, they have a great battery life. Chrome OS is very secure. It has a lot of useful features and it's easy to adopt because if you think about it, you probably spend most of your time in Chrome, be it for documents, chat, research, or just browsing the web. Also, it works really well in Google's ecosystem alongside the Pixel 6a. So that wraps up this back to school kit, but I'd love to know what you think of it, along with what gear you have in yours. Drop your list down in the comments and let's talk. Also, if you're looking to pick up anything featured in this video and want to support us at the same time, please check out the affiliate links down in the description below. Guys, there's a lot going on behind the scenes with the move and building this new office, but I'm finally taking the plunge and going full time. This is a very big deal. I'll have an update on that soon, but let me just say it's going to be an awesome holiday season. Once again, this is Sergio. I am. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out. So please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.